News at 5, I'm Dawn Baker. And I'm Mike Sela. Former attorney Alec Murdoch was back on the stand again today for the second day of that cross-examination. If convicted, he faces up to 30 years in prison in the deaths of his wife Maggie and son Paul. Yesterday, Murdoch took the stand for the first time and admitted that he lied to investigators the night of the murders and in fact only telling the truth here on the stand, but still denied killing Maggie and Paul. Today, prosecutors questioned him both on the financial crimes he's accused of, where he openly admitted to stealing money from his clients, including children and quadriplegics, and on his new alibi. Our Tyler Mannion has more on his testimony from the courtroom. So answer yeah. my question first, sir. Yeah, for the record, he did not bring it. He was talking Judge, about financial sir, stuff. Down, Mr. Um, Griffin. Judge Clifton Newman, they are addressing one of Alec Murdoch's attorneys just after questioning began. As the state continued their cross-examination, their lead prosecutor focusing on Alec's new alibi he unveiled on the stand yesterday, saying he was, in fact, at the kennels with his wife and son just moments before they were murdered, when in the past, he said he wasn't. The reality is, Mr. Murdoch, is the reason why no one's ever heard that before is because you had to sit in this courtroom and hear your family and your friends one after the other come in and testify that you were on that kennel video. So you, like you've done so many times over the course of your life, had to back up and make a new story that kind of fit with the facts that can't be denied. Isn't that true, sir? No, sir, that's not true. The prosecution continued to push, hitting what they call Alex's new story repeatedly as he claimed he helped law enforcement as much as he could since the murders. Other than lying to them about going to the kennel, I was cooperative in every aspect of this investigation. Very cooperative, except for maybe the most important fact of all, that you were at the murder scene with the victims just minutes before they died. Right? I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. Alex's testimony in his own defense continued from there, and I'm working to bring you into more moments from it coming up on The News at 6. For now, though, reporting from Colleton County, Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.